got sophomore guard Caleb Mills joining us right now. If you have a question, raise your hand and we'll get to you ASAP. We'll go to Mark Berman, Fox 26. Mark, go ahead, please. Caleb, how long did it take you to start feeling normal out there or did you ever feel normal out there? No, I didn't. Uh, I'm still uh, getting this rust off. I ain't really, I don't think I played that well. Person, I play good defense. I got to rebound, do my job. How tough is that to, to not feel normal given all you've been through with COVID, your ankles, and you're trying to play at a high level? I mean, I, that's, that's, that's going to come with it, you know, having to sit out and all these games and practices, and you, you, you're going to be rusty. Uh, but we, we didn't do our job like collectively tonight, rebounding, and we did a good job defending, but we didn't like the way we played at all. Joseph Duarte with the Chronicle. Joseph, go ahead, please, sir. Caleb, uh, early on, you know, I think you guys, you Quinton hits that first shot, and then you guys go several minutes without without a field goal. Uh, what's going on at that point? I mean, do you, do you feel like it's a product of just the, the layoff and everything as a team, or did you guys just, you think you guys just felt out of sync, or what do you think was happening there? Uh, this didn't come I, know right. you weren't, I know it's hard since you weren't in there uh, at, at one point, but let me ask it this way. You came in uh, after y'all got off to a slow start. I think they were up 10 and you, you hit a couple of shots, the back-to-back -back layups. Uh, you feel like maybe that was some, some momentum there to kind of get you guys going again? No, no, we have a, uh, it's this culture, you know, that stuff don't bother us. You know, we, people make runs on us and stuff, but. The, we just came out with the wrong mindset. I can feel it in warm ups. You know, I mean, it's just, you gotta work yourself out through the game. Uh, next game, we're gonna be on top of it. We're gonna go into practice, knowing, knowing what happened. This game is a lesson, or even though we won. All right, we'll go to uh, Matt Musil, Channel 11. Matt, do you have a question for Caleb, please? Caleb, congratulations on the win. Following up on what Joseph was asking, what does it do confidence wise for your team? Like you said, I didn't play my best, but you guys played so hard, and this was a really good road win for you guys. Oh, what are you asking me? What are you asking me? How did, how did it help the team confidence, not being at your best and still being able to beat a quality opponent on the road? Well, we don't necessarily look at us, how good we are. We just look at what, what can we do to get better. I see even after we play our best, you know, we, we always looking for our chase perfection. Even though it's not sustainable, we, can, we always chase it. So we're gonna be we, there's some stuff we're disappointed about. We went about forty. You know, we're, it's never we're never satisfied. How great did it make you feel when you made that great drive down the lane late, and that really really kind of turned it your way and uh, and uh, locked up the win, making that play and had to go through traffic to get it. I mean, I just have a lot of confidence in myself. Um, Co Coach Sam has a lot of confidence in me. All the coaches do, they trust me. My teammates trust me as well. I trust them, you know. Just the more hours you spend, the work shows. If, if you work hard, it's going to come out. But everything you want will come out of it. All right, we'll go to uh, Mark Berman with Fox 26. Mark, question, please. Caleb, what does it say about the program that your head coach, your staff, and you guys, your players, y'all navigated this pandemic, pauses, injuries, and you just went uh, get a big win on the road, and you're seven and zero. What does it say about what you guys are doing and where y'all are at? Well, I mean, that's just that's culture. Isn't it? I mean, it sounds cliche and overused, but it's just our culture. Coach Sam did a great job, and the players before us creating this culture, and we we, we do our job to sustain it. You know, and show the people from that going to be recruit that we're going to recruit, and when we're long gone, it's going to still be here. Coach Kel is going to take over, and it's going to be the same. There's going to be nothing different. All right, we'll go to Joseph Duarte with the Chronicles. Joseph, go ahead. Caleb, can you take us through for you the last month? Uh, it was our understanding from what Coach said, the, the ankle injury was before the season started. And then when you came back, uh, I guess it was halftime of the Texas Tech game where the other one didn't feel well. And then the next thing you know, it, you're, in, you're in COVID. Just what, what that's been like for you to kind of have these ups and downs? Well, actually, uh, it, it was – I tweaked my right ankle in the Boise State game. Okay. But the next day it was fine. But the, my left one had already – it was still hurt in the Boise State game. And when I played against Tech, as soon as I got in, I boxed out and I tweaked it. As soon as I got in, I was playing on the hurt ankle the whole time I was in. But um, I, I kind of look at it a blessing in disguise. Like, 
that I was quarantined because it got me, it gave me a chance to recover, not always walking, just sitting down, get my recovery time. So are the ankles feeling good, and is it just a matter of the the layoff with the with the quarantine getting back into the game shape? Yeah, I'm tired out there. They're pretty evident, I think so. But it's tired, body was hurting, getting cramps, shin splint, everything was hurting. But still, got to do my job. All right, uh, we've got time for one more question. We'll go to Chris Gardner, please. Chris, go ahead. Caleb, did UCF do anything differently in terms of a rebounding, a boxing route, the team different today? Uh, I mean, it was the first time we got out rebounding since Temple, my redshirt year, and I remember that. Uh, that's just, I don't, I don't really credit them. I mean, they did a good job, I, I guess, but we didn't do what we wanted to. We, weren't, we didn't hold ourselves accountable. Okay, All thank right. you. Caleb, thank you very much for your time. We do appreciate